What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just finished watching episode 9 of House of the Dragon. Just a reminder, my reaction to this episode is going to be under my YouTube memberships. If you guys are new here, I'm going to explain to you guys what I have over there. So I've got two levels of my memberships. Level 1 is for $2.99. You're going to get uh, priority replies for me, special polls, and live streams. Uh, my memberships are increasing, so I'm going to wait to get to a certain number so we can start them so I can have a good amount of people on there to chat with. Level 2 is for $4.99, and you're going to get everything that Level 1 has. Plus, you're going to get all of my reactions to this, uh, this show here, House of the Dragon, along with any other show that I may watch. Currently, I'm also watching Dragon Ball, Naruto, and I just finished watching She-Hulk, so that all of my reactions to that, including any reactions to any movies that I may watch, are all going to be under my YouTube memberships. Um, also, you're going to get uncut Try Not to Laughs over there as well. All right, so go and check that out. Currently, I do have one uncut Try Not to Laugh over there. Um, I guess that's a good thing because I haven't run into any issues with my try not to laughs, but uh, all any and um, all uncut try not to laughs are going to be over there. So in this episode, it is what I predicted. The king has passed away. Now in the last episode, I didn't quite understand why it ended like the way that it did and what he meant by what he said. And a couple of you guys chimed in and explained that he basically, um, he was basically telling her, like, you know what you need to do. You need to make Rhaenyra's son the next uh, king, basically. So um, this episode, we see that it did start with a boy. He's running around trying to find somebody. And then he found someone and let it be known uh, to one of, I guess it was one of the housemates that the king had died. So, um, of course, I felt already like, all right, something's gonna be up with this. So, they went back, they told the queen, um, Allison, and when she said, who else knows, I was like, all right, she's about to cook up some plan. So she didn't want a lot of people to know. Of course, her father found out. And basically, now her plan, she's basically lying to her father, telling her father that the king, out of his mouth, told her that she wanted um, her son to be the next king. And I'm like, I do not. I highly doubt that that is what he said, okay? So then you see they're all in the chamber, all the main, you know, people or members or whatever you want to call them are in the chambers talking about, um, they're all coming together and at first they don't know what's going on. And then, um, you know, the queen's father lets them know like, okay, the king has passed on. So now they're trying to figure out what's what. So now her father is kind of like gloating a little bit. So now I'm just like, all right, maybe he's not all that good. Maybe he's been cooking up a plan behind the scenes. So he's basically like it came out of the king's mouth himself that he wanted um, his son to be, you know, the next king. And the older one, the older guy, he was like, no. Out of all the years that I have been here, he was like, I know him well enough to know that I highly doubt that that's what he said. And of course, what's his name? Um, Sir Kristen came behind him and basically told him to shut up and shoved him down. But he shoved him down so hard that he killed him because his head hit the ball. And I'm like, this is all in the beginning of the episode. And I'm just like, okay. And nobody flinched. I was like, so this is how it's going down? Okay. So then the guy that's in charge of Sir Kristen, he was like, you know, chill out. So they both pulled out their, their swords and 
basically, Sir Kristen is almost like, I feel like he's in love with the queen because he's like at her beck and call and doing whatever. And he felt like he had to defend her at that point And that's why he did what he did. So they put their swords down after going back and forth for a little bit. So now they're all trying to figure out a way to make this work. So they basically were cooking up something behind the scenes and they all basically insinuated that they wanted to take Rhaenyra out because she is technically the next heir of the throne, but they don't want that to happen. So her, the queen is sitting there like, no, we are not trying to kill her. That's what y'all want to do. Y'all want to kill her? And nobody said anything. So she's like, no, that's not happening. So um, the guy that was the commander that was in charge of Sir Kristen, he took off his cape and he was just like, basically, I don't want no parts of it. Like, this is this is not happening. I don't want to deal with it. And he left. Um, so now then they went ahead and also locked up his cousin, the um the Lady Targaryen. And everyone else is kind of like running rampant all over the place. So in the meantime, I'm sitting here waiting to see if anybody's going to say anything to Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra. Nobody has said anything to her because they haven't even showed her in this episode at all. So this whole time, nobody's saying anything and they're basically just doing their own thing. So at this point, they're trying to find her son. And they're going through that town that has like, I guess you would call it madams or whatever. They're looking for him, looking for him. They don't find him. Finally, they come across a madam. No, they come across the lady who used to deal with Damien. And she basically told him where, told the guys where they were. Now, at this point, you saw the twins. They went and they were looking for him too. And so eventually those two got into a fight with the older brother and Sir Kristen because they were all looking for the little, the other, the other brother, the, the one that became king. I keep forgetting his name. Um, uh, Aegon, Aegon. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, you guys. I'm so tired. So, um, so they found him, but now they're all, you see the twin, one of the twins is fighting with Sir Kristen. But then his twin, his other brother, his brother's just kind of watching the whole thing and basically walked away, didn't even help him. So I'm like, what was that about? Like, what was all that about? Like, was he not trying to be part of this whole situation or is he turning his back on his brother? Like, I didn't get that, but then they didn't revisit that in the episode either. So I was just like, all right, well, let's leave that alone for now. So long story short, now everybody's finding out about the king's passing. So they're basically making all these plans. They started to wrap his body up and they're doing all this. And meanwhile, I'm still like, why hasn't anybody told Rhaenyra? Where is Rhaenyra? They're not telling her anything. I'm about to sneeze. I'm sorry. They don't want to tell her anything. So the whole episode, she's not told she's not in it at all so they basically made the king's son the next king they crowned him and everything and i'm sitting here like yo this at first i thought she was having you know mixed feelings about it oh and then let's not forget when she was talking to the dude with the cane like he's always giving her information and i believe if i'm not mistaken this is the first time that we see what she's given him in return and at first i didn't understand what was going on we saw her sitting there talking to him she takes off her shoes and he's kind of looking at her foot in a funny way and she looks uncomfortable but i'm like why is she taking off her shoes and putting her feet on the table and then she takes off her socks and they keep reference like they keep making it their business to show her feet and i it took me a while to get it to understand what was happening so Finally, when he was giving her some information, she turned and he's looking at her feet and all of a sudden you see him covering his stuff. I'm like, as he turned on, he has a foot fetish. He gets off on this while he's telling her all of these secrets and stuff. I'm like, oh, come on, really? And I look, no wonder she looked uncomfortable. So I'm like, all right, well, whatever. And he, I'm still trying to figure out what, what he, what he's got, what does he have going on and who's his crew? Like what is going on? So they locked up like all the maids or whoever, 
all the all the men. I don't understand what they did with them, but they've got them down in the in the dungeon somewhere. Why I don't understand it. So then at one <clears throat> excuse me, at one point you see the queen talking to uh the cousin Targaryen, and she basically tells him like you're doing all of this, and didn't have you ever seen yourself on the throne like? Why are you working so hard for this when you could be the one on the throne type of thing? So, um, that conversation, you know, that she was trying to convince her, like the queen was trying to convince her, like, look, you know, what's right. You know, that this is what's supposed to happen type of thing. So, um, the, at the very end of everything, when they crowned, you know, his son and stuff. And I'm just like, man, like, this is dirty. This is really dirty. They killed excuse me, they killed the bald dude because I get, I don't know if he was going to escape to go tell Rhaenyra or what, but they caught him before he was able to leave and they killed him. They hung him. Um, and so apparently I guess really nobody knows Rhaenyra doesn't know anything, but we did see at one point, um, that the queen's father wrote something, rolled it up and I don't know what he did with it. I don't know if he was sending that off to her or what. So, um, yeah, so after that, we see that within the whole entire crowd, uh, cousin Targaryen, she ran off, but then she appeared with her dragon. And at first I was just like, oh shoot, she's, I thought it was an explosion in this place, but it was the dragon that came up from under the ground. So I thought, I was like, this dragon's about to flame everybody. The queen got in front of her son and she just kind of looked at her and the dragon just kind of screamed in her face, but he didn't let off any fire. So she just kind of looked at her, smirked, and then she just flew off. Like she just left the, with the dragon. So I really don't know how this is going to go, but I will love to see how Rhaenyra's expression is. I believe that this is not going to be, this is not going to go well. I believe that her son is already a hothead, so he doesn't want to be king. He doesn't have the desire to be king. He didn't even want to be found. So now that he's crowned king, this is going to bring a lot of bad stuff, I feel like. And then I feel like there's going to be major beef with Rhaenyra and the queen. Something's going to go down. Somebody's place went up in flames, and I don't know whose that was. Like, who's... who's house was that that was up in flames or was that where the maids were i don't know somebody tell me in the comments but anyway that's my review and my thoughts we're gonna have to see what happens next sunday on the episode 10 of house of the dragon but in the meantime leave your comments down below let me know if you enjoyed this episode what you guys think what do you think is going to happen next if you enjoyed my review let me know as well and if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel hit like share don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever i pop up on your feed i'll see you guys later toodles